still on the back again, yeah, we'll do that. So we've got our, uh, so we've gone to, sorry, we're starting just on your back. So we start like this, we've come round, so we've got the underhook. Okay, we've shrugged, we kept our like, like knees really close. Okay, as we come up to the top position, grab his wrist, my wrist, and throw the leg over. So what we're gonna do is get the other hook in, so I don't fall to my back, I fall, like, fall to the side, so I sit up and then fall to the other side, get my other hook. Like, close. So, what Ricky's going to do is like escape the bottom leg, go to his back, I'm going to come up to my, uh, my knees, try and get my knee to the side as possible, and do the same again. So, top leg goes in, I switch to the side, and come back down. So, switch to the other side, I come back up, okay, hip side, knee as a pillow, and go to the other side. So, if we just do this side to side. Okay. So we've all done this as part of the warm up, so if we just add this one to our uh, little technique as they escape, okay? On three, one, two. I come, I shrug, I get to the side, okay? Get the grip connections, okay? My leg comes over, so as I rock to the other side and get the other hook in, he passes, okay? Ideally, I want to keep this top, top hook in, okay? So I can keep it in as I come up. Back down again. But sometimes, okay, it's like quite difficult or like he's bigger than me or it's not working, but I keep a connection. So sometimes I just keep my knee in, but I've got the pressure of the knee on his hip. So I'm not like disconnected completely. I never come back out here. Okay, I've always got everything really close, my knee into his, his side. Okay, so I'm then coming over and rocking to the side. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we're here, Okay, so we've we've got to this position. Okay, I can either like lock off my legs into like a body triangle or just like foot to foot. That's absolutely fine. Okay, I'm gonna switch hands. So like the hand that's on the uh, the wrist, I'm gonna switch it with the other one to push down. So then I can get as deep a grip as I can on this collar. Okay. I like usually then he's gonna use the other hand to defend because he can't use this one. So he's gonna defend the choke. So I'm going to use this, shrimp out a little bit, and then try and catch my heel in the crook of his uh, elbow. Kick away, so I can eliminate this, uh, like, this arm. So I'm making sure I keep my heel down so he can't get it back again. Okay. And then we're going to go grab the, uh, try and grab for the pants, and twist to choke. So we're just pulling away to the choke. Okay? So again, if we just go from the that position, so we've all got to, to this position to here okay so I switch my hands like so I punch down the arm to get as deep a grip as possible on the collar okay so, uh, he's always going to defend because if he doesn't I'll just like come back up and like you know get into a, do a different choke okay so he'll always defend trying to pull the arm back to stop me choking him okay so I'll shrimp out get the crook of the elbow kick down keeping my heel as low as possible to try and stop him getting the uh, arm back in. Okay, and then I can grab the pants and then pull and push away. Okay, so I'm like pulling, like keeping this elbow into my side. So I don't, I don't have my elbow flare. I've got to keep this one down, and then I kick away and pull. Okay, there is another option where we we're here, the same setup as you, like the last one. So we push the, down, get the uh, get the choke. So. So we're here, push the arm down, get the, uh, the grip in as tight as possible, he defends, come out, we eliminate this arm. Our other option is to take this one behind the head and the same thing, I pull my elbow into the side, pull in this hand this way and pu pushing this hand this way. So I'm doing this motion, okay? Everyone happy? So on three, one, two. Mm -hmm.